How's it going guys? I am here today with that tutorial thing that I talked to Antar about. I said I wanted to make one for those of you that do require some visual assistance. He said with pleasure, so I'm, well he said please be my guest, which is, you know, I'm going to go ahead and do it with pleasure. So, uh, you're going to need a couple of things according to the instructions. You're just going to follow this. We're going to go a little bit off the beaten path with something else to replace the low HP music as well, which is not covered in this, but I'm going to go ahead and cover it with an updated one, I guess in the description, something like that. The one in the video that I'm sure showing off right now is not updated yet because I'm too lazy to type out the extra step it's real easy so you want to download tink uh, it's gonna be like the link on the top of the page um, just don't even worry about it seriously like there's not that many links you just click the top one you're good to go um, now what did I want to up uh, do the thing again okay I don't Wh which one were we doing I think it was just this, this regular one so that one's actually a slightly modded one but it's gonna be okay because we can just replace it again so uh, you can just close that off open tink load your ROM you're good to go uh, you're gonna want to view swan sound data I'm gonna take this at kind of a slow pace for people that like to pause according to each direction now you're gonna see a bunch of files we're really gonna only need to click on three of them the first one is gonna be BGM dummy you're gonna want to extract this name it as a .sseq otherwise it's just gonna be a fucking file that you plug in and then it's gonna be a little messier uh, you might as well just type in the extra five characters otherwise you gotta go rename it later but uh, we want to find if you're having trouble finding it it's gonna be the one that ends in 0xA0 also known as versus trainer Wi-Fi and that's gonna be the shit in the versus recorder so I click change file change that to a change that to this dummy one and you should definitely be good to go and uh, the other thing that you want to change, according to the other thing I'm going to leave a mirror to in the description or whatever, is you want to go to Battle Pinch, which is going to be 0x8e. You're going to want to change the file with the other one I've linked in the description as well. All I did was I converted uh, the Battle Pinch to a MIDI, made it a blank MIDI or like an extremely low volume one. That's what I had to do in order to get it to preserve the track length. Uh, if that even makes sense to anyone if not I made a thingy that works with the thingy and then you can just plug it in there so just so there's no confusion for what you do uh, you click save dot s or save as that and then you click save ROM I'm gonna save it as test this bitch dot NDS of course it's gonna do the dot NDS automatically and for whatever reason it glitches up when I try to play Desmume and record with Camtasia with sound at the same time. So what I actually have to do is end the recording right now, and I'm going to show you guys a clip of a uh, a file, a battle that actually has a Pokemon in a low HP music situation to show you that there's not going to be any music whatsoever, and it's just going to be straight sound effects. So it's going to end here, uh, but that's basically how you do it, and I'll leave a little preview afterward. So uh, if you guys did enjoy this, slash find it useful, slash all that stuff, like, favorite, go ahead and share, because I know there's a lot of people out there that have been looking for stuff like this to be able to sub their own uh, custom sound effects in, and uh, that's how you do it. So uh, I'll just go ahead and leave this after. I've already said that multiple times. I'm just going to go now. You guys have a lovely day and uh, enjoy.